So help me welcome to the stage, Tom R. I talked about raise your odds. This is an opportunity, right? The problem with opportunity means you have to put work into it. And that's kind of a scary thing, because here's the thing. We've all, most of us have been paid based upon hours, not based upon performance. <laughs> Unless you've been in sales, then, then you've been paid on performance a little bit, <clears throat> some, some more than others. But opportunity means you have to put work. You know, said ability means nothing without opportunity. You have opportunity, and if you don't have the ability, the ability is able to be learned. Because it's here, it's all around you. You're in a room full of people that are doing this business. Okay, so what ability don't you need? And then there's task force. Oh, it's great. I'm not really great at products, okay? Well, that's fantastic. We can put together a prosumer team as you build a business that is great on products. Well, I'm not really the show the plan person. Great. Let's put together a team of people that can be that. You, to follow what I'm saying, the task force, we can create a team of people to build a leg together that fill in your gaps. I know that when I got started, not only didn't we, didn't we have an opportunity to be able to order on the web, but you used to have to take people's orders. And I was single, and one of the biggest product lines was cosmetics. You know, and I learned more about lipstick colors than I care to, you know, really care to know. You know what I mean? So I, I really did. But guess what? I did it because I wanted the results. Okay, but now we've got a great opportunity. Show them the opportunity. They say no, and we spend the rest of our lives trying to convince them. Remember what Joby said? We're not trying to convince anybody. We're just looking for the ones that are looking now. Because you might have the right person, but not at the right time. Everybody's life, everybody's life runs through cycles. Okay, and these cycles are real simple. It looks just like a sine wave if you're into electricity. People's lives do this. Okay, here's the middle of the road. Now, people have peaks and valleys in their life. Okay, this is down here. I'm going to say they just lost a job or something else major happened in their life. And then there's another line up here where they just got a promotion or a big raise or something that's happened great in their life, okay? So this is anybody below here and anybody above here are not potential people for you. Even though they may be perfect, they got skills, they know everybody, this would be great for them. They're not in this middle piece here, which is the looking zone. You know, the worst prospect in this business is someone that just lost their job. Why? They've got to feed their family. Okay, let them find a job, let them get through the honeymoon period, and then talk to them about this so they don't ever get back in that situation again. You know, I love it when I sit down with someone and they go, oh, you know what? You know, my cousin, he hasn't, ha he hasn't had a job in six months. He'd be perfect for this. <laughs> okay. He would not be perfect for this because he hasn't had a job in six months because he don't want one, <laughs> which means he ain't going to want to do this either. He's down here. He's down below the looking zone. So you can even be talking to the right person, but not at the right time. So what am I going to do? If I'm talking to somebody, it's just not the right time, am I going to get depressed about it? No, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, because guess what I know? Sooner or later, they're going to come back in the looking zone. Things change. You know, we talked to a lot of real estate people here in the last six months, and the real estate market in Florida has been unbelievable. And they haven't been looking. They've been making more money the last couple of years than they have in the last 20. But you know, things change. Things happen. Will that stay forever? No. Usually markets run in eight to 10 year cycles. I know that will change. And some of those same people that said no in the last six months may say yes in the next six months or six months from now. But I'm gonna keep going. Because what's, what's the constant thing gotta be? I just gotta keep moving forward. Because if I keep going forward, then eventually they're gonna wanna know what I'm doing. See, here's what I found. If you've got somebody negative or someone that says no to you, okay, if one of your family comes up to you and said, this thing won't work, okay, you say it will, they say it won't. One of you's right, one of you's wrong, right? But here's the best part. It's up to you as to which one of those is right and which one of those is wrong, not them. It's completely in your court. If you stick with it, you cross the barrier, you cross the Rubicon, and I'm going to get this thing done, 
and you stick with it and you go, then you're going to be the right one. Or you could let their negativity drag you down and, you know, they could be the right one. But the one who has the choice is you. You know, Helen Keller said it probably best. She said, most people see the obstacles. Few people see the objectives. It's one of my favorite quotes of all time. I had it on my office wall long before I ever got into this business. Because it's so true. You know, whenever you go into business, you go do this. I remember when I was going after this big job with Disney, everybody's telling me it's out of my league. What am I crazy? I'm wasting my time, wasting my effort. You know, I should just stay with the small jobs and not try to do that type of stuff. Okay, you know, and they also said that two years earlier when we did all of Donald Trump's casino work up in Atlantic City and we did the Miss America pageant and we did, you know, everybody said, oh, you're crazy, you can't do that. But we did it. And it was just probably because I was too naive enough to know that I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I did it. And it's the same thing here. Where do you want to be? Immerse yourself in the culture. This thing works. The question is, will you work it? Because it's not a free ride.